Now let's take a short quiz to test our understanding so far. Sales is rupees 3 lakh, GP on sales is 20%, purchases is 2 lakh 40,000, opening stock is 20,000, find closing stock. A. 20,000, B. 24,000, C. 16,000 and D. 12,000. Sales is 3 lakh, gross profit is 20% of 3 lakh, that is 60,000. So, cost of goods sold, cost of goods sold is 2 lakh 40,000. So, it is 2 lakh 40,000 is what? Cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold is equal to what? Opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock. Or closing stock is equal to opening plus purchase minus cost of goods sold. What is that? What is opening stock? 20,000. What is purchases? 2,40,000 minus cost of goods sold is also 2,40,000. Therefore, closing stock is 20,000. Your correct answer should be A, 20,000. A. 20,000. <clears throat> Next, X sold goods to Y at a profit of 20% on cost. Y sold goods to Z at a profit of 20% on sale value. If the cost of the goods to X is 50,000, then at what value Y has sold the goods to Z? A. 60,000 B. 66,000 C seventy five thousand and D seventy two thousand. So X sold goods to Y, profit is twenty per cent on cost. Cost of goods is already given to so X is fifty thousand. So, cost is equal to 50,000. What is profit? Profit is 20% of cost. 20% of 50,000. That is 10,000 is the profit. So, what was the sales value? It was 60,000. This is X selling to Y. Sale price is 60,000. Next, Y sold the goods to Z at a profit of 20% on sale value. Y sold the goods to Z at a profit of 20% on sale value, mind you. So what happens as far as Y selling to Z is concerned? Selling price is 100, profit is 20, therefore 80 is the cost price. Yes or no? What is given to us? We know the cost price. What is the relation of profit and cost? Is equal to 20 by 80. So, one fourth of the cost price should be the profit. Cost price for Y is 60,000. Right? Selling price and therefore selling price for X and cost price for Y. Therefore, profit would be one fourth of 60,000 which is equal to 15,000. 60,000 is the cost, 15,000 is the profit, therefore 75,000 must be the sales value. What value Y has sold the goods to think? Correct answer should be 75,000 C. The following details relate to a trading concern for the year. Opening stock 4,000, purchases and sales 36,000 and 35,000 respectively. Profit on sales is 20% uniformly throughout the year. 50% of the closing stock was found to be obsolete and estimated to fetch only 50% of the cost. The value for the closing stock at the end of the year will be. So we only need to find the value of the closing stock. 
What are the options given? A 9000, B 12000, C 6000 and D 10500. So what, how would we do this? We could make a T format or we could do it equation wise. If we take it as opening stock 4000, two purchases 36,000, buy sales 35,000, so you've taken opening stock, you have taken purchases, we have taken sales. Profit on sales is 20%. Profit would be 20% of 35,000 or 7,000. And therefore the balancing figure should be the closing stock. Closing stock. How much is this? Total is 47,000. Therefore, so closing stock, 12,000. Now, 50% of the closing stock was found to be obsolete and estimated to fetch only 50% of the cost. So, what is this 12,000? This 12,000 closing stock that we have arrived at is when we apply a gross profit of uniform rate of 20%. This would have been the closing stock had there been no such adjustments. But there are adjustments so that the actual value of closing stock is 50% of the closing stock was found to be obsolete and would fetch only 50%. So 50% closing stock we have totally 12,000. This is split into 6,000 and 6,000. 50% of this, 50% of the closing stock is obsolete. It will fetch only 50%. So let us say this is the obsolete stock. This will give us a value of only 50% of 6,000, therefore 3,000. And this is already 6,000. Therefore, the correct answer should be 9,000. A, 9,000. The closing stock is 12,000 under normal circumstances, but 50% of it is obsolete and 50% of it is good. Good is valued at 6,000. What is obsolete is valued at 50% of this value. So 50% of 6,000 is only 3,000. Therefore, total stock would, act, would be valued at 9,000. <clears throat> Correct answer A, 9000. Next, calculate the gross profit. If rate of gross profit is 20% on sales and cost of goods is 1,20,000. A, 24,000. B, 30,000. And C, 20,000. D, none of these. Calculate gross profit. What is the profit given? 20% on sales. So sales is 100 because it's 20% on sales. So sales is 100. Profit is 20. Therefore cost is equal to 80. Cost of goods sold is given to you as 20. So when cost is 80, profit is 20. So when cost is 1,20,000, profit is 20 by 80 into 1,20,000, giving us 30,000. Correct answer should be 30,000. Option B, 30,000. Next. A company wishes to earn a 20% profit margin on selling price. What should be the markup on cost to achieve the required profit margin? A. 33%, B. 
B 25%, C 20% and D none of these. 20% profit margin on the selling price. What should be the markup on cost? Markup on cost? The percentage on cost. The extra amount on cost to achieve the required profit margin. Selling price, if it is 100, gross profit is equal to 20. Therefore, cost price is equal to 80. So what is the relation of profit and cost? It is 20 by 80, 1 4 into, if you take express it as a percentage, you will get 25%. So the markup on cost should be 25%. Profit is either 20% on the selling price or 25% on the cost price. Correct answer B, 25%. Goods costing 20,000 having normal sales value destroyed by a fire. The scrap worth 4,000 is taken over by the insurance company and the insurance company accepted a final claim of rupees 2,500. What amount of loss by fire will be transferred to profit and loss account? What does this mean? That the insurance company, there was a loss of 20,000. Insurance company has taken a scrap of 4,000. And they will give a claim of 2,500. So totally we might say 6,500 is our, uh, is what is the scrap and what the insurance company gives. And therefore to that extent our loss is reduced. So what is our loss? Abnormal loss was totally 20,000. Out of this scrap plus insurance claim given separately, both together is 6,500. Therefore, net loss transferred to transferred to profit and loss account should be 13,500. Therefore, correct answer should be B, 13,500.